Now we'll learn how and when to create masters and the different master types you can create. We'll create a menu master using the lock to master location behavior and we'll create an add to basket master using the place anywhere behavior. Moving on to masters. Let's finish our wireframe and then we'll work out what ought to be mastered. Let's go to page one. We're going to prototype a detail page rather than a landing page in this example. First, we'll copy across the logo and menu from the home page. Let's add a heading one and an image below that. A paragraph that will populate with a bulleted list. We're seeing some standard what you see is what you get editor features here. Another paragraph underneath. On the right hand side we're going to create an add to basket feature a rounded rectangle object for our background with a drop down for quantity and a button which we'll rename Let's now also name each of these objects. Good habits, remember. Primary page heading. Product image. Bulleted product features. Product description. Add background, add quantity label, add quantity, add button. Finally, let's take a look at our widget manager so we can keep track of what we have in our canvas. Change the filter to all widgets. We can see that widgets have been added in layers in the order we have dragged them onto the canvas and because we have been adding useful names as we go we know exactly what's what. We're now going to create some masters. Do you see any obvious contenders for a master here? Yes, you've got it. The content, the head of the canvas, the logo and the menu. These are features that we want to deploy across multiple pages and they will remain mostly the same. So let's click and drag to select these widgets and we can right click and choose convert to master. Choose a name, I'm going to call it header but you may prefer another naming convention. You'll now see that it appears in our master pane. The widgets on our page canvas now have a red halo over them which indicates that it's a master. If you look back down to the widget manager you'll see our master indicated with a red icon. An aspect of our new master that will remain the same is its location on the page canvas and Axure has a helpful feature that allows us to always place a certain type of master in the same place on the canvas. Let's right click on our master in the master pane. We can select drop behavior, lock to master location. For Axure 6.5 users this is just like a place in background master. Now we can go and drop it into our other pages and it will always appear in the same place. Let's go to the home page and pages 2 and 3 and drag it out. 
There's something wrong, however, on page 1. As you can see, the master on page 1 is red, whilst the master on the other pages are grey. This is telling us something. Changing the drop behaviour of a master does not affect the instances of the master you have already dropped. So let's delete the legacy master from page 1 and drop the new one in. As you can see, it's not positioned quite correctly, so we need to go into the master and adjust placement so that it appears in the right place on the page canvas. You can double click on the master for this. See the new tab that appears? Masters are actually a lot like pages and you can do most of what you can do on a page canvas in a master canvas. But note there are some important differences. Also, take a look at the widget manager at this point. The widget manager reflects the contents of the master canvas, not the page. And the widgets that are now nicely arranged in the widget manager retain all the names we provided earlier as part of the master. A lot like a page, isn't it? Let's move our widgets into the right place. Select the widgets and drag them in place against the guides. Now let's go to the pages to see if they've updated. They have. Hooray! Just for completeness, let's cover a standard master, which we may want to place in different locations for flexibility's sake. Let's take the Add to Basket dialog. This is a component that we'll use across multiple pages, so it's a prime candidate for making a master. But it may not always appear in the same spot. Maybe a promotional spot could appear above the Add to Basket button on some products and not others. Uh, so let's masterize our Add to Basket widgets by selecting and right-clicking. Name it Add to Basket. Now let's copy and paste our page content to our other product pages. For your information, you can copy masters without a problem. You don't have to drag them out of the masters panel every time. Control C and Control V to paste. Now, if we want to add a promo spot on the page to product above the basket, no problems. 